Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. Woo, 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 woo. You already know what it is. Today, what I got for you is not going to be a, a video about making custom rugs. It's not going to be a custom sublimation t shirt video at all. But what I have for you today is going to be we're going to be making some art. This art can sell for upwards of $5,000, so make sure you follow these steps to a T. All right, so step one, what you got to do, get yourself a good frame. Um, the frame that I got, I got it from the Goodwill. As you can see, I'm taking the sticker off, you know, but the, this this frame is very good. This frame has like this, uh, this like composite wood backing. Um, it's very sturdy. I haven't tried it out with the cardboard backing, but I'm pretty sure you can you can definitely uh, Use it with the cardboard backing as well. So get yourself you start off with a good frame um, You're going to need some caulk with silicone in it. Um, you're also going to need Spray paint with the uh, spray paint primer combo um, Satin if you want to do gloss it's totally up to you but I got these supplies from my local hardware store. In particular, I got this from Lowe's. Shouts out to Lowe's Home Improvement. Um, also, what you're going to need is a caulk gun. Um, that's at Lowe's as well. Home Depot, wherever your, your local um, hardware store is. Or you can just cop it off of Amazon too. So what you got to do, make sure you seal up all the cracks, all the little holes and all the crevices of your frame with the caulk um, as you see what I'm doing here, you go over it uh, once, twice, however many times that you like. Um, if you mess up, it's just going to create a little more of like a texture onto your frame, uh, more of an artistic uh, type feel on top of your back of the frame. So don't be afraid to mess up. You don't have to be perfect with this because the end result is going to look good. But of course, you, you have to add your artistic touch to it, of course. Um, that's how your clients is going to pay top dollar for it. And then what you do next is you smear it. Uh, make sure it's deep in those cracks so that it, you know, that your, um, so that your bottle, your bottle is going to be very he heavy on this um, foundation. So make sure that that caulk is deep inside the cracks of the frame. Because uh, you definitely don't want this hanging on somebody's wall. And then the glass, you know what I'm saying? Let's say if they got this in their bedroom and mess around the joint fall out <laughs> fall off the um fall off the wall you don't want that to happen to it. that'd be kind of messed up you know what i'm saying so just basically make sure that caulk is inside those cracks make sure it's in there pretty good and you are good to go and then what you do from here on out you just make sure spread it in there uh make sure it's deep up inside that giant pause and you will be good now, what I did, I got a napkin. Um, I went to edges, make sure I got, you know, any caulk residue off the frame um, so that it doesn't look tacky at all. So just make sure you, you keep it clean, make it look nice and neat for your clients, man. Make sure you and guys then... hit the like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me throughout the years. Um, now, make sure you do the front side i took the glass out i think i might have missed that step but as you can tell I, I took the glass out the front um do this for the back as well because you want to seal the back up um, you don't want any of that resin seeping out from the back now what i'm going to do towards the end i'm going to put you know a piece on the back of this um of the frame so that you know you don't see all of this stuff because the only thing I'm going to do to the back of this I'm just going to um, spray paint the back so that it blends in I'm not going to be putting resin on the back part at all um, so it's going to look a little bit messy not so much messy but not as clean as the front is going to look so I do want to kind of conceal you know that caulk somewhat uh, on the back so that it doesn't look you know like like a bunch of mess on the back try to keep you know keep that professional look to the back of the um, frame as well if you're getting any value out of this video make sure you guys hit the like button it definitely contributes to the channel need this channel to grow as fast as possible 
so I can continue to share this valuable content um, on the road to 1 million subscribers. You, you, you. Thank you so much for subscribing. All right, and we're almost at the next step. So the next step, simply you get your spray paint with the primer mixture in there. Uh, make sure you go into a well-ventilated area. My apologies uh, for doing this outside. I don't have a garage, so the only place I could do it was outside. Definitely apologize for any environmentalists on my channel. All right, so just basically you spray that outside um well, well ventilated area make sure you um wearing gloves and a face mask and then of course here comes the fun part smashing the bottle make sure you wear gloves what i did i put the bottle inside of a trash bag threw it up in the air outside i do apologize to my environmentalists on this channel but it was in the trash bag plastic at that oh my gosh don't kill me <laughs> but yeah threw it outside it crunched inside the plastic bag and it allowed it to shatter. Um, I didn't want to use a hammer um, for safety reasons, of course, but you can definitely use a hammer. Make sure you're wearing gloves and make sure you're wearing protective eyewear when you're doing this. Now, here comes the, uh, the next part. What you got to do is mix part A of your resin as well as part B of your resin to make sure that it adheres properly. And then you start to pour the resin that I'm using is a low odor resin so it's you know i'm inside my crib i do not want that thing to to smell throughout my 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 my, my house so i use the low odor resin and it works out pretty good works out really good so yeah make sure you use get like a low odor or if you're in a well ventilated area you can use whatever resin you like so what i'm doing now i am going over top of the resin to remove any impurities from the resin as it settles in um, with a heat gun. Um, I got this from my local hardware store as well. It's fairly inexpensive, so you know you, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on this project. Just make sure you put your artistic touch to it as well as you know give it a little swag so that you know your clients can be hanging something that looks valuable, that looks very creative, that looks very professional from your artistic eye viewpoint all right and what i'm doing next is i'm just simply i'm smearing some of the resin onto the sharp edges i don't want nobody to get hurt from handling my artwork so i'm just you know adding a little touch of resin onto the edges making sure that all the sharp pieces are covered um so that nobody cuts themselves and you know, try to file a lawsuit against your boy because I ain't got that much money. <laughs> so um, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you like. Make sure you guys comment. Make sure you guys subscribe for giving you these free jewels. Also, um, I'm going to need you guys to go hit the link in my description box. It's www.dtfsha dot com what i have on there for you is a free ebook uh social media marketing tactics as well as my art um and the other things that i do on the side um that's related to this channel and yeah this is pretty much you know this this project is very beauty very beautiful i do apologize for saying very beauty that sounds crazy this is my first voiceover as you see and if you got any value out of this video hit the like comment and subscribe peace